Welcome to the start of a seven part tutorial series. During this tutorial series, we'll be making a two player tank game in Scratch. And in this video, we'll be working on the tank movement. So let's begin. To get started, we'll remove the default Scratch sprite. I'm going to upload two new sprites and these sprites will be found in the Kenny top down tanks redux link for this file in the description and we'll go to the PNG file and then default size file and simply type in tank and now this is where you will have the fun of choosing which color tank you want so just make sure to choose one that says tank underscore then a color so we'll, in this tutorial I'll be using the tank blue and then I'll also be using the tank red. You can go ahead and use the tank blue and tank green or tank gray, whichever combination that you would like. And then we'd want to go to the costume and rotate it to face right. And we'll also rotate the second one so that it also faces right. And make sure that it's as straight as possible. Now that we have them both facing right, we're going to rename both of them to player one tank. And then we can rename the second one to player two tank. Now we'll go to the code and first work on the code for the player one tank. And we're going to go to events and select when flag is clicked and we're going to hide it. And you're probably wondering, hey, but I can't see the tank. Well, the reason we have it like this is because we're going to have a main menu and this main menu is going to is going to show up when the flag is immediately clicked. So we're going to have a when I receive play and once play is received, then we can show off our tank and we'll go to our backdrop and say when I re when the flag is clicked, then we'd want to broadcast play. So now our tank is back and it's sh showing itself. So what we also want to do is make our tank um, spawn in a certain position. So let's have our tank go to negative 184 then 11 and then we'll go to control and select the forever loop and then go to the if statement and we'll go to the equals operator and we're going to create a new variable and call this game active and the reason we're creating this variable is because there's going to be a time where our game isn't supposed to be running we don't want our tanks to be able to move so we only want our tanks to be able to move if we set game active to one. So let's set this up and then have four new if statements. And this if statements will control our player. So we'll sense when the key W is pressed and then we can have it when the key S is pressed, when the key a is pressed and when the key D is pressed. Now we'll go to motion and move and we we'll want our player to move a certain amount of steps in the W and S and A and D will be used to rotate our player so since A is left we'll have it rotate anti-clockwise and since D is right we'll have it rotate clockwise and set these both to 5. Now we'll give our player a speed for we'll give our player the speed in the form of a variable so we'll call this player 1 speed and we'll go to operators and go to the multiplication operator so right click on the variable and duplicate it and place this here and for s since we're going backwards we'll multiply it to negative one to make it negative now we'll go back to our backdrop and set game active to one and we'll also set the player one speed to five 
then we'll create another variable called clear to speed and we can set that to five as well and put this under the when flag is clicked and now we have all that's needed for our tank and we also now want to do the same for our player to tank and in order to save time we can just drag these scripts to the player to tank so just drag it from the top and wait until you see a shake and a stop in the sprite icon and what we want to do is make sure that we change everything so that it fits our player to tank and the first thing we want to change is the spawn position we'll have this spawn at 175 15 and then we'll change instead of w to the up arrow instead of s the down arrow a will be replaced by the left arrow and d by the right arrow and then right click on this variable and change it to player to speed and do the same for this one and then we want to go to motion and we want it to point in negative 90 direction and we can do for this one positive 90 then we'll go to our variables and just hide all these variables and we can delete this default my variable and now we can see that they can move and decelerate accelerate and look towards each other and rotate and that's all we need so thank you for watching this video make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next video in the next video we'll be adding a shooting mechanic to both of the tanks so that they can shoot and destroy each other so stay tuned for that goodbye